Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here in Genshin Impact once again because we are going to be doing another character building video. And that character is Charlotte. I actually got Charlotte yesterday on Farina's banner because I really love her gameplay design. I love how the attacks are with the camera and I just think it is absolutely so cute. And I thought it would be a perfect time to actually build her. So for this video I did end up doing a little bit of pre-farming in advance just so this would take a little bit less time and I ended up getting three artifacts um this is what they are now this cup here i had already had before and it had two crit stats on it and i thought now would just be a great time to use it since it was really good another one that i got was this crown from strongbox so we're gonna raise that today and the other one that i got was this flower and fourth stat rolled into crit rate which was really great so let's raise them the only thing i can say is i hope it rolls into crit please Oh gosh, that is very ugly. Okay, if last stat does not roll crit damage, then I'm not keeping this flower. Please be crit damage. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not keeping this one. That's unfortunate. Now let's dump it into the crown, and hopefully the crown rolls crit rate. Okay, crit rate. Okay, promising. It rolled into crit rate one time. I think it rolled into a little bit of everything, actually. Okay, last stat, please be crit rate. This would make me so happy. Oh, oh my god, it actually did. Okay. And it's a really high roll, too. Alright, that looks really good. I'm very happy with that. Besides that, for her weapon, she is going to be running a Skyward Atlas because it is one of the only catalysts that I actually had not being used. Since I kind of recently took off my artifacts from Klee because I don't really use her, I decided that she could have it. And I also think that it would fit really well because of the all elemental damage bonus by 12% that is in its passive. Now, from what I understand, she has an attack scaling, um, like... Yeah, so her skills scales off of attack, which is really good, because almost all of the characters recently have been scaling off HP. So maybe Charlotte will have the ability to do some decent damage. Now, so far, um, what I did do was level her to second ascension so that I could get that free wish, and also so I could see the things that she would need for ascension. Now, I didn't get much from the boss, but I did manage to get a few barrel conches, and I also had some of these gear thingies left over from just killing random stuff. I also crafted a few of those gems as well, so it would be easier. I think now, though, what we can do is just start by leveling her up, so let's do that. There we go, and we can ascend her one more time, which is great, so let's do that. She is already at level 50, and she has attack scaling. I swear, this character makes so much sense. Hoyoverse really busted their ass with this one. <laughs> can I ascend her? Oh my gosh, I can. This is probably going to be the easiest ascension video ever. Pre-farming is amazing, guys. I definitely recommend it. <laughs> but that is going to be the last time we can ascend her, though, because I'm going to need more boss drops and just other stuff in general. So, yes, I'm not going to level her up to level 90, even though this book is level 90, so it is going to bother me a little bit, but it's just, just going to be where I... <laughs> what was that sentence? It's just, just going to be where I... So, I think the first thing today that we can start out with is artifact farming as well as ascension. So, yesterday when I was pre-farming, I did get a few books um, because yesterday was Sunday, so all of the domains were open, which made this a lot easier for me. And also, I just had a bunch of Fontanian tra travel books. Hello? Why am I struggling so much today? I had a bunch of Fontanian talent books left over from Archon Quests, World Quests, and other stuff. So this shouldn't be too strenuous, hopefully. Now don't ask me why I have 237 resin, but hopefully that's going to be enough to accomplish something today. Um, I'm thinking about trying to split it halfway down the middle so that we can spend um, half of it on boss drops if needed, and then the other half can be on artifacts. So. I guess, let's just go fight the boss again. Okay, first boss drop. Please be three pieces. I think we have two right now. Yay. Okay, that's gross. Hopefully... We only have to fight it one more time for right now, and then I can just go gather some of the conches, and then we should be good for our next ascension. Okay, so I have gathered enough barrel conches to level her to the next phase. Now all that's left is to fight that stupid thing one more time, and then we can ascend her. Are you kidding me? Of course I get two the one time I actually want three. 
And this... Ew. Ugh. Okay, final fight complete. Alrighty, there we go. Now, we can ascend Charlotte, I think. Yes, we can. Alright, let's do it. Yay! Okay, now only one more ascension is left before she's done with ascension. <laughs> Um, one thing I do notice is that I'm definitely gonna have to go farm some more Heroes Wit eventually, so that's gonna be something that I have to do. For her artifacts, as you saw earlier, I am just doing like a generic 4-piece Blizzard Shredder sub DPS build, so let's just go to the Blizzard domain. First run of the day. Hopefully we get something that is useful. Ah, oh, okay, no. And no. That sucks. <laughs> okay. Third run. Second run, excuse me. Please be attack, Sans. Okay, it's not... It... Okay. It's attack, Sans, but not in the sense that I want it to be. <laughs> Alright, now let's see if we can turn any of that garbage into something useful with strong box here. I am so glad they added so many more options to this. But let's put these in. Okay, three artifacts. Please be good. Okay, all stuff we need. No? You know what? That has promise. I'll take that. And that one actually has some promise, too. Let's roll both of those, and if the second stats both roll crit, then I will keep them. Okay, let's put it in. Fourth stat. Crit rate. Damn it. Okay, well, it is attack percent, but also it's a flower, and so I want to have as much maximization as possible when it comes to that, so I don't think I'm going to accept that. Alright, let's try for this feather. Please, fourth stat, be crit rate, because that is a high crit damage roll. Okay, of course it's death, and it gets a times two enhancement. Disgusting. Um, although, I am very happy with today's progress, considering how much we were able to get done. We were able to ascend her to level 70 on the first day. I'd never been able to do that before, so I'm very happy about that. But, I guess all that leaves now is to wait until tomorrow, and hopefully we can get more done and get some better artifacts. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Okay, so it is now day two, and I thought we could just start off with something super simple like leveling her talents. Now, as I said yesterday, um, I do have quite a few of these talent books, so hopefully we won't have to farm any in this video. Now, the scaling for this actually seems really high, um, even though it is technically healing. I'm not exactly sure how her scaling and stuff like that works, so I will definitely have to look into it and play around with it a little bit, but I think for now let's just level up her ENQ and we can focus on normal attack later. Okay, now we're at 466. Um, we can only get it to 566 for right now until I'm out of books, so I think that is actually a very good place to start. And today I actually have some great news, two things actually. One, I am no longer sick, so my voice doesn't sound like a squeaky toy. And two, while farming for artifacts today, I got something so awesome. Here it is, you ready to see it? It is this. Now, I literally almost fell off my chair when I saw this because Getting a Sans is usually one of the most difficult of artifacts to actually get in domains, and I got this like straight up, no strong box, no nothing. Hey, Elemental Mastery, that's actually really good for this too. I have a really good feeling about this Sans, it's got some attack on it, and I think it's just gonna be really good, so let's see what first stat is. Okay, we got crit rate, that's really good, I love that. Now maybe we could get some crit damage, and a little more crit rate, that would be amazing. Second, crit damage, please. <gasps> oh my gosh, why is everything going so well on the sands? I don't want to say that and then get like an elemental mastery roll, but so far this is looking amazing. Okay, crit rate or crit damage, please. Oh, damn. Okay, well, we got an EM roll and get like an elemental mastery roll, but. Um, I guess what I can say now is I hope it gets crit damage, because that would make it look really pretty. So, okay, last stat. Crit damage, please. Oh, 
Crit rate? Okay, this is a really good piece. I'm really excited about this. It's got some crit rate and crit damage, and it has a lot of EM. And it also has attack on it, which is perfect for Charlotte, but there we go, that is our sands. Um, now we have three artifacts. Unfortunately, we do need two more, being a flower and a feather. Seemingly the two easiest artifacts to get out of all of them, but who knows? Maybe it will be the death of me. But I am so happy that we have a good sands. We have the two most difficult- <laughs> and let's see, that brings her stats currently up to, it's pretty average, I would say, you know, just need some finalizing. We definitely need some more crit rate, from what I can see, but besides that, I think it's going to be really, really good. Tomorrow, my plan is to work on more ascension, so I think right now what we can do is gather some conches, because they should have respawned, and I can craft some more gems, so let's go do that. Alright, so I finally finished collecting all the conches that we need to ascend her to level 80. I did end up going to a second person's world because I ran out of conches myself because I took all of them. But, all that's left is tomorrow to come back when we have full resin, fight the boss, and then get that flower and feather. So, hopefully it's not too bad. See you tomorrow. The next day. Okay, so it is now the next day once again, and as promised yesterday, I said we were going to focus on Ascension, so that is what we're going to be doing. Uh, worst case scenario, we are going to have to fight the boss six times, and best case, we will only have to fight it four times. So, let's go. Alright, so now we finally have all the pieces to ascend her to level 80. There is that wonderful exclamation. Let's do it. Finally! I'm so excited. I love Charlotte so much. Unfortunately though, from the looks of it, we're going to have to farm some heroes with. <laughs> I think I'm going to take two condensed resin and see if that is enough. Okay, so I did two and a half condensed resins, and I hope it's enough. Like, it's gonna be really close, I think. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Oh my gosh. You know what? I think a lot of people might be mad at me for this, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. Because it's so close, and I think just by doing some domains, we can probably get there. The next day. Alright, so it is now the next day, and while farming the Blizzard Domain, I managed to get something pretty awesome. And that is this flower here. It has two crit stats on it, which is absolutely amazing. Um, but I guess now we can only hope that it doesn't roll into flat def, so let's just dump this flower and this other flower in there. And hopefully it rolls good. Okay, that's not too bad. I like the crit damage roll, but I think if we could get one more, that would be great. It didn't roll into flat death too, which is awesome. Okay, last roll. Please be crit damage. It was HP. Um, you know what? I think I will keep this, like, if we have to. So if we can't get anything better, I'm willing to settle with this flower. Now let's check her ratio. I think it will be a little bit higher now. Yes, it is. I like that she has more crit rate because also with the blizzard set, she doesn't need as much. 40, I think, is a good place to cap it. And also, for her talents, I did get some stuff from the weekly boss. So we can use some dream solvents to convert it, and then we can level it up. I'm so happy about this. I am a little bit sad that we won't be able to get it to 688, but I think 677 is probably going to be enough for her to do some decent damage. Now in regards to the final artifact, the feather, I do have one that I was kind of thinking on a little bit. It does not have two crit stats unfortunately, but it does have one crit damage stat, and I was thinking that if it rolled pretty decently into that one stat that I would consider keeping it. First, okay, it rolled into crit damage once, which I think is nice, but I'm hoping for 
let's say one more roll into crit damage so that we can get the full bonus from the blizzard set. Okay, last stat, crit damage. Dang it. Okay, well, I don't really like the way that this feather looks because it only rolled into crit one, so I think we're just gonna have to wait until we can get another one. The final day. Alright, so it is the next day, and I am very happy to announce that in Domain, I happen to get a really good feather, and it has two crit stats on it and some flat def, but we don't need to talk about that. I think it looks really good, and I'm super excited, so hopefully when we raise this, it will roll into not flat def. <laughs> okay, similar results to the last feather that we raised it rolled into both of them one time so hopefully if we get one more crit damage roll then i will keep this feather okay crit oh okay it actually did wow that is pretty amazing i'm super happy we have the final artifact piece her build is complete oh my goodness i'm so happy look at that beautiful four piece blizzard set and her weapon as well. Now let's check the final stats. Look at it, it is so good. We almost have 170% crit damage. This is amazing. I am so happy. Now one thing I am thinking about considering doing is switching my Charlotte's flower with Ayaka's flower because Ayaka's has more crit damage on it and I would say she is certainly not short of crit rate. Let's take a look. Yeah, as you can see, she has around 260%, so I think that is a sacrifice that we can make, so I'm going to switch these two flowers. And she has completed talents as well, so I guess now all that's left to do is test her out. Okay, so I don't know what I want to test Charlotte on. I think first what I want to do is get like a basis on, you know, typical melt damage and see what she can do, and then maybe we can go on to something like the Pyro Regis Vine and you know, test her there with a full support team. Why is she dead? Hello? <laughs> okay. Um, well, anyways, so that she's not dead anymore, um, let's head over to Liyue and test her on the pyro slimes. Now, I'm gonna use Zhongli, I'm gonna bring him along just for some basic protection and also the nice attack boost that he gives, so I don't want to apply any geo. Oh crap, okay, well, it doesn't matter. Ooh, 18k melt? That was good. 12k? I am very impressed. Look at that, 12k melt. I think the highest I saw was an 18k melt, I think. Let's do slow-mo replay of that. As well as the melt test, I do want to do regular DPS test and a healing test because I know that she is technically a healer because of her burst. So let's just make a support team and see where this goes. So for this team, I'm going with Zhongli for protection, Charlotte herself obviously, and Ganyu because her burst provides um, an extra cryo damage bonus with party members who are within it. Now if I had Shenhe, this would be a much better DPS cryo build but I have been waiting so long for Shenhe, I don't even know if she's gonna have a rerun. And then I have Bennett just for basic support because of his attack boost with his burst as well. So, let's go. Okay, so slight change of plans. Um, I'm gonna do the test on Raiden instead because the Pyro Regis Vine is too weak. So, let's get in this hellhole and let's go kill Raiden. <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. This is so cool. Oh, she's alive again. <laughs> All right, well, I think that test went pretty well. Um, I know that Raiden did wake up at the end, but still, I don't even know what the highest number was because I was kind of just mashing buttons the whole time. But now let's go test her healing capabilities. Now, as you can see here, it says uh, Charlotte will create a new slash field that deals AoE cryo damage and restores um, HP for all party members based on Charlotte's attack. So pretty much, I think we can probably keep this build. I might want to do a two-piece blizzard and two-piece two piece, two piece gladiator set as well to really maximize her capabilities. So let's do that. 
first, though, we have to kill a party member or two. So, let's get murdering. Okay, I think I'm gonna use Zhongli because he has 55,000 HP and uh, it'll be a lot to heal. So let's just go to an easy boss that doesn't move very much like a Regis Vine and stand in the AoE and see if it heals. So for this team, I'm just doing Zhongli and Charlotte as usual and I also am going to use Klee and Yoyamiya because Pyro Resonance, as you can see here, increases attack by 25% and hopefully that will increase her healing as well. So let's go. Okay, there goes Corolla. Hey, the healing isn't that bad, but it really doesn't last for very long at all. It seemed to do about 400 per tick. Uh, yeah, it only lasts for 4 seconds, which I think is kind of ridiculous if it's a healing character. Um, but I guess that was that test. I think the healing does a flat amount at the beginning. And then for the next four seconds, it does the ticks. All right, well, I guess that is it for today's showcase and building video of Charlotte. If you enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like and also subscribe so you won't miss out on any new content. I am very happy with how this test turned out. The only downside, I think, to me was the healing capability because it only lasted for four seconds. But I think the whole building process and the build itself, I think, went really well. So tell me what you guys think in the comments and what character I should build next. But with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.